we're already off to a great start. I had my phone on the wrong orientation again. Someday I'll learn this, huh? So hi, you guys, it's Brandy. I'm back again. I'm sorry, I had to get off and get back on again. I see people are joining us. There's Kristana. Thank you. Thank you. Don't laugh at me, please. Um, so you guys, I'm Brandy with Brush by Brandy. I'm a furniture painter out of Sacramento, California, and I'm a Dixie Belle brand ambassador. And we're live on the Dixie Belle page. Um, Dixie Belle has some awesome lives coming up for the month of May. And some of thank you, Dixie Belle, for understanding. I'm sorry. Um, some of them are going to be um, teams of us painting um, with different techniques. You're going to get to see how different artists, um, you know, do their thing a little bit differently. So tonight, my guest is going to be Kristana Kusan of Bello Renovare. And I'm so excited. She's so much fun, you guys. And she's beautifully talented. Um, do you have your wine tonight? I'm way ahead of you, girl. Yes. So... Um, you guys, tonight we're going to have fun. I'm painting in the yellows. Kristana gave me yellows. Um, I don't do a lot of yellows. I did one and it sat for a while. So I'm overdue for a yellow and I gave her red. So in the theme of famous pairings, I'm going to be team mustard and she's team ketchup. What goes better than ketchup and mustard? So Kristana, the ketchup to my mustard, I'm going to invite you on. Okay. Here you come, girl. Okay, I just sent her an invite. Let's hope she guys. I want you to share this post um, with your hashtags tonight. Tell me if you're team ketchup or team mustard. Hashtag team ketchup or team mustard in your shares. And let's see who comes up at the end. Um, let us know which one you like. Tonight we're going to be giving away um, a 16 ounce Dixie Bell paint for everyone who shares this post with their hashtag. And then let us know on the thread um, that you shared and then what piece you guys would paint and then you would use team ketchup or team mustard. Hi, girl. Hey, hold on a second. Let's, okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, get all sort of, ooh, you have a fancy light. Yeah, I do. I know. Is, I'm, that, a, is, is that a diva ring? Uh, You know what? It's a, I don't know what it is. It's about to get real bright. Hold on. Yeah. Oh, like. oh, yeah. Ooh, that's one of the nice ones. I'm jealous. I got it on Amazon, you know, because I'm like super professional. So, <laughs> <laughs> so you're all turn. I'll I'll show you guys mine. This is my lighting setup, and I got these off a of Facebook Marketplace for super cheap. That's how I roll. So let's see. Hold on a second. Ooh, I see your piece. Yeah. Okay. So I actually. What is happening here? I'm sorry. Hold on a second. You're you're okay. Get squared away. I'm I'm gonna sit here and and sip my glass of wine. Do you have your glass of wine out? No. What? I... Hold on a second. You know it's Thursday, which is almost Friday, right? Yeah, I know. But you're a mom. We're moms. That doesn't matter. That's not. You know yeah. that. You know that joke where they're like, yeah, um, you're a parent. It's Friday. It doesn't matter. I thought no. it was to be, holy cow, this is really crazy. This you, thing doesn't you like, look... I know, but look, see, now you guys are seeing everything I'm doing. I, I get it. Oh, Marianne, where is your wine? Marianne, go get a drink. You have a little break here. We'll wait for you. Thirsty Thursday. Oh, <gasps> Diana. Oh, I, I like it. Oh, that's a good one. I like it. We're going to call this Friday Junior. And we're going to celebrate. We right, can't I'm see gonna, you. I'm going to have to set this up differently. Hold on. Can you see my face? Yeah. <laughs> Looking good. Ooh, I love your hair, too. Yeah, I just got it done. Look at it. Did you Did you straighten it? I did straighten it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Can you see everything? So let me get on. Yeah, that's. You're good. You're so good. I Stay right there. This is what I did. I set up my laptop. Oh, that was smart. Yeah, so I can answer questions. So um, you, I was going to have my husband do it for me because he's here, but he has to leave it a little bit. And I and you can't switch it around once you're on. So um, so I'm going to be in selfie mode, just reading. Yeah. I have my helper here, though, my assistant. Oh, look at him. He's so cute. My he's beautiful. Be trying to, like, do a bunch of stuff. Okay. <laughs> I think we're good. Are, are you ready? Yep. You ready? 
Hey guys, okay. I'm Chris Donna, and I am from Bella Renavare. I am coming to you from Cheyenne, Wyoming. It's been <sighs> raining for like three days here. So it's actually kind of sunny, but the wind is crazy here. So it was like, whew, I'm like, yeah, I should probably close my garage door. So I'm sitting in my garage, just. I, I'm a little jealous because it's it's hotter than heck in California right now, and I'm in my garage and it, I'm sweating. It, like, I'm kind of I'm gonna be all sticky by the time we're done. Ugh. Yeah. Or is it humid there? Do you guys? See oh humid? yeah. This this week it has been because it's been we're still on the tail end of the rain thing, and we're transitioning into sun. So yeah. it's been humid. Like we've been getting rain at the same time. Yeah. You know, I didn't know you were from Cheyenne. So you're in Wyoming. Okay. I okay. I'm not from Cheyenne. I, so I was active duty military back oh. a long time ago. So I actually grew up in Ohio. So oh, okay. a little bit out of Cleveland, Ohio is where I grew up. And, um, and so my husband's from New England. So he's from half of my family. My in-laws live in Maine and half of them live in Massachusetts. So we're just here. We spent four years in Italy before we got here two years ago. So I'm not really, really from Cheyenne. I just live here. <laughs> so so what branch of the military were you in, first of all? I was in the Air Force. So Oh, that, okay. Yeah. And my husband is um, Air Force also. Okay. Been in awesome. for 15 years now. So, you know. Is, is, your time in, is your time in Italy, is that where your business name came from? Yeah. Okay. So Bella yeah. is beautiful in Italian. And then yeah. Renovare is actually like renovation, I guess, in, um, in Latin. So, yeah. okay. Yeah. I know, you know, a lot of people like for your business name, you have your name in your business and a lot of people do that. And I, I've been told like, maybe you should rebrand, but I just, it means a lot to me, my name. So yeah. I'm just like, eh, we'll keep it. A lot of people actually think my name's Bella, which is fine with me. So yeah, yeah that's a cute name, actually. Yeah. Um, you know what? The business naming thing was a really hard thing for me because I did it, you know, really early on. I was like nothing, barely painting. And a customer was like, you should be up on Facebook so I can find you. So I did it. And I was like sitting on my couch one night and came up with this with this name. And it was so like simple just to get my page up and now I'm like stuck with it and I wish it was something that kind of meant something because yeah. it, to me it's so like boring but you know I'm working with it and it's it's yeah. a thing now so so it's but too it's late to change you know like it's part of you like brushed by brandy like it's yeah. who you are so you know I just hate I hate even worse. saying it it's like saying my own name all the time is it doesn't you know you're like a narcissist so anyway, brandy. are you a narcissist the, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, no. The real story I want, though, is I want to know what you were named after. Oh, okay. So, because you have a really unique name. Yeah. So I actually don't have a middle name. My and everyone thinks like when my name is spelled that it's my first and middle name, so it's not. My mom had four kids, and my oldest sister she actually passed away, and her first name was Crystal, and her middle name was Dawn. So you had Crystal, and then you had my brother David, and then I was born, and so my mom actually named me after her. So it's kind of a cool story. I've only had one person in my whole life be like, "That's weird. Why would she do that?" And I'm like, "You're not a nice person. <laughs> like that. Why yeah. would?" You so I think that's really special. I love yeah. that. I love it even more now that I know the story behind yeah. it. Yeah. So I'm named after my older sister, who is I never met her, obviously, but yeah. yeah. So, so yeah, and that's, uh, and I have two kids, so I think, I don't know if I said this before or not, but I have a little girl, her name's Roxlyn, so her name's yes. Roxlyn Pearl, and my son, who is 20 months, he is Lane Gibson, because my husband okay. is a physician, so our kids Whoa. are actually after, yeah, the company, so it's kind of cool. Um, and my name is Chris, so people are like, can I call you Chris, and I'm like, uh... Growing up, everyone called me CD, which is fine. Yeah. So if you ever see someone like saying CD, then that's because they're talking. About that's you. Talking. Yeah. Do people do people shorten it to Chris? Are you know like in your family or anything? Um, sometimes, but like my parents will call me Donna. But yeah, 
I mean, people call me, I've heard it all, Kristen Donovan, Christiana. They're yeah. actually, I watch The Voice, and there's a girl on there right now. Her name's Christiana, I think, and it, like, freaks me out every time because it's so close to my name. Yeah. That, and you don't hear that very often. No, no. And I, being in the military, there was a girl years ago, and I don't talk to her anymore. I'd actually like to catch up with her, but she had a little girl, and she named her middle name Kristana. So, really? Yeah, so I had a genealogy teacher in college, and he was like, you're the only person in the world named Kristana, and I said, I, I know. Yeah. <laughs> so. The first time I saw your name, you popped up on an interview, and we were trying to, like, do you, do you remember this with um, with Tess? And I yeah. saw it, and I was like, I don't know how to say it. I'm either going to totally butcher it, or this is going to be right. Well, uh, up, I don't you've ever had a kid in your class that's got kind of a unique name the substitute teacher's always like you know brandy michelle yeah. jonathan and then they get to mine and everybody knows and they're like it's yeah. christana so yeah. <laughs> yeah. i think growing up i hated it because it was so you know i i couldn't spell my name till i was like in second grade or so i don't know yeah. <laughs> like really yeah. an apostrophe mom an apostrophe yeah. that's punctuation yeah yeah come on cut me a break yeah. yeah. I think the main thing is people don't capitalize the D, but, you know, um, I'm going to wait I don't care. <laughs> my maiden name is like that, where, it, so my maiden name is DeVille, this, like, the spray gun company, I don't know, um, okay. and it's got the capital D, lowercase e, capital V, and it was butchered my whole life, oh. so I married into an even worse one, but what are you going to do? Yeah. So, anyway, we're here to paint for you guys. Yeah. Um. Now you know about our whole life story. So. Yeah. <laughs> no, I've been dying to ask you about your name, so I'm yeah. so glad we got that over with. Yeah. Um. So someone asked, what is our theme tonight? So our theme, you guys, we're painting in pairs. Our theme is going to be famous pairing. So what goes better with your ketchup than your mustard? Go yeah. look in your fridge. You got, you got both of them, right? Yeah. Did you so, see that thing about, like, even the most barren fridges have must or ketchup in them? Because so, it never goes, it never goes bad, right? Oh, I know. Oh, like, and you can use it to clean your hardware. Yes, I know. I've done it before. <laughs> I'll have to post a picture. I did it on a piece. And um, my friends, Jonathan and Janelle, they actually do a lot of my pictures and stuff. And they were like blown uh -huh. away by it. They did not believe me when I pulled it out. So they asked me if it, I was going to do that tonight. <laughs> it kind of makes me wonder if it's really safe to eat. So yeah. I'm yeah. I'm team mustard because I'm going to be painting in yellows. Yeah. I hate mustard, but but you know what? I love yellow, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, I'm team ketchup. So and actually, red is my favorite color. Well, now that I'm like I do this, and this has kind of been part of who I am. People ask me what my favorite color is, and I just I mean, red has always been the default. Mm -hmm. purple, but I I like all the colors. So yeah. Now, now that's a really hard question to answer. But, um, so my thing, what I so what, to do as a tribute. What to red do you have out? What? A tribute to you is I do this blending technique. It's not like how you do it, but I do this thing where it's kind of like a subtle ombre, and it goes from like the dark to the to light up here. And what I do is I mix a lot of different colors together to get it. And so I figured I'll do that because I, you know, you're like the blending queen. So you know thank you that that happened by accident people are always like you know how do you develop your style and stuff I think your style finds you it's you do you and then people are going to tell you what you do well and they want you to keep doing it so yeah, I agree I, I, people ask me that and I said you need to just stay in your lane you yep. stay in your lane and you do what what moves you like what what keeps you up at night that makes you thinking like this is what I want to do and what makes you like look back at that piece and it makes you proud. So yeah. yeah. Don't try to paint everybody else's style, like take yeah. it and interpret it as your own. Yeah. And I, I mean, I think, you know, I think I've watched a couple of your tutorials to learn how to blend better, but not to be like you just to, yeah. you know, you take, you take those, that knowledge from other people and then you do your own thing with it. And that's what sets you apart from other people is, is being yeah. you, be real. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, I think, I think as far as sharing information, you know, there's only so many techniques and we're all using the same techniques. You know, let's say 
blending and, you know, using water and, um, you know, whatever they are, but, but we're all using them in a, in a different way. But right. we're all using the same handful of techniques. Yeah. <laughs> you don't have different game. games and different whatever. Yeah, because there's only so many things that you can do in art yeah. as far as technique. It's how you mesh them together and the colors and yeah. how you, you know. So, yeah, I agree. Yeah. So tell me what reds you got out. Okay, I actually have all the reds. So Do you? I had a big, like, 32 ounce of the rustic red before, and so that's what this one is, is the rustic red. So yeah, that one's good. Technique. How I figure out what color, I'm like, okay, I'm going to do this color. Well, you picked my color for me. So I said, okay, red. So I actually, I have the color palette right here, and I take it, and I'm like, all right, so what color do I want to start with first? And so I have Muscadine Wine out just in case. I probably won't use it, but I'll probably yeah. have Rustic Red, and I'll mix it with Caviar, just because Caviar is, like, my go-to when I want that deep, dark color. So I'll have Rustic Red and Caviar first on the bottom, and then I'll blend it into barn red and rustic red mixed so well, no, backtrack hold on caviar <laughs> red mixed then rustic okay, red rustic. by itself to blend it then i'll put rustic red mixed with barn red and then i'll put barn red by itself so it's Ooh, kind of like, okay yeah like a gradual yeah all those colors yes. are there yeah <laughs> Yeah. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go kind of like rustic, like farmhouse country. Yeah. Anyone who's a painter, if you go on Pinterest, there is this one, Mustard Color Buffet. Do you have it saved? It was one of the first pieces I saved on Pinterest. It's just this mustard yellow buffet, and it's so striking. So I'm going to be at with Colonel Mustard. But yeah. then a, custom, a customer told me that if you mix Colonel Mustard with chocolate, it gets really um nice and dark and mustardy so i have kernel mustard chocolate and then i'm probably gonna highlight with like a with like a rebel yellow somewhere in here yeah so i'm like i'm like this range i'm really excited to see that the the kernel mustard with the um the brown mixed together i want to see what that looks like so yeah so i'm told totally, i'm totally gonna start painting you guys have waited long enough yeah um, sorry guys yeah, sorry for the chit chatting. I know it's my pet peeve too, and I'm doing it. Um, um, oh, you guys share this post with your hashtag. Tell us if you're Team Mustard or Team Ketchup. Which yeah. one do you like? What piece <laughs> in your house would you paint with these? Yeah. Oh, do you want to try this paint? I mean, if you have, have you tried Dixie Bell or not? Because if you haven't, you need to get with it and come try it. So, so right now. Um, is I'm mixing the rustic red in a different thing, and then I'm going to put caviar. And normally what I do is I just mix it a little at a time until I feel like it's where I want it to be. Yeah, I'm bad about that, too. I don't I don't measure out my mixes. So, I, like. That's why I'm terrible well, at cooking, because it always comes out wrong. Well, then I feel bad because then people will ask me what color it is, and I'm like, well, it's kind of a little bit of. So try this. You know. Like, what that Yeah. Is. Thing. So I'll just I'll just take and mix them in like a bowl and I just take little tiny bits until I see the color I like. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm doing here is I just want with this rustic red, I just want it to be a slightly darker than what it normally would be. That way we get good um like a good so I don't know if you can see it. It's slightly darker. Yes, we um, can. And that's the that's the same with the kernel mustard. See, this looks terrible on camera. I can see that this looks like my baby's like diaper. Yeah, baby. On, on camera. But I really like it. I like it in person. Yeah. So trust me, guys. Just go with me on this. And you know, a lot of people ask me, so I really like Dixie Bell because it, it levels out really nice. But a lot of people mm -hmm. ask me how I get such a smooth finish and I feel like the number one thing is you really have to have a good brush me personally that's what I feel like so so what are you painting with tonight what's your brush uh, I have a paint pixie brush so oh. I paint pixie I use Crex brushes I use Klingon brushes I will use um the chip brushes for like blending and stuff 
Yeah. But the paint pixie brushes are a little bit, um, they're natural bristles, so you have to be gentle with them, otherwise they'll break and then you'll have bristles in your stuff, so. Um, I've heard really good things about them. I don't have any paint pixie brushes. Well, I'm going to have to send you some, girl. <laughs> or paint or paint pixie if you guys are watching tonight send me a brush yeah i've never tried yeah um, i have out as far as brushes um let me move my wine here so i don't spill it so i'm going to paint with my zebra this is their two inch chiseled wedge which is my favorite of their brushes i'm going to use this for the brushes too the main yeah. body they're super soft they're synthetic bristles but they're just super smooth yeah um and then I have out this this round brush I'm going to use for shading in the corners. And this is a Stalmeister brush. Yeah. Which well, I, I really like zebra brushes. I've used them quite a bit. And I kind of like how in a pinch, if you get, if you run out of a brush, you can go right to like Home Depot or Lowe's and get yourself a brush because they carry them at those stores. So that's kind of Yeah. Nice. I mean, I don't, know about you, I don't know about you, but doing so many pieces, you can't, I mean, I have to have tons of brushes because half the time, a lot of them are sitting and drying and. Wait a um, so, so I have a lot. And if they're all, you know, $50 brushes, it gets kind of hard. Yeah. I'll show you. Wait a minute. Time out for a second. I'm going to show you my brush. Like, it's ridiculous. Hold on. Your stash? Yeah. It's all over. Totally. So I'm going to bring you guys in for a second, but um, can you see on the bottom here? This is my pure caramel mustard down here, and this is my mix with the chocolate. It's only slightly deeper than the pure kernel mustard, but I like this more mustardy color. Yeah. It's a little bit deeper. Um, so I'm going to keep going with this mix. This is it's, I just was pouring it in this little dish, and I like it. Yeah. I I, it's probably not enough. I'll have to mix more, but that's okay. So look at this. This is my, these are my brushes that I, I should probably put water in there. Oh, you have a lot, you have a lot of Klingons in there. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's nice because. Those are your, those are your dirty ones? Yeah, these are my dirty ones. I just, instead of, instead of cleaning my brushes, I just use all my brushes until I have none left, and then I go and clean them. So <laughs> it's like a nightmare cleaning my brushes. That, that sounds like what we do with dishes in our house. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Don't we have look. no. We, we have no forks left. Know. Somebody wash the dishes. Yeah. I, you know what's funny is the dishwasher does the dishes for you. When we lived in Italy, we didn't have a dishwasher. So for four years, I washed by hand, which, you know, I did that all growing up. I didn't have a dishwasher. Oh, and yeah, me neither. We never did. No. And now, it's, I don't want to load, load and unload the dishwasher, but I never complained when I had to wash them by hand when we lived in Italy. It's, it's funny. Um. I'll tell you what, my kids are seven and 10 now. Yours are still kind of little, but uh, my that's one of my kids' chores, and I love it. Yeah, start them, yeah. My daughter, she, she'll always be like, Mom, can I wash the dishes? And I'm like, uh, I don't want our family to have diarrhea later because there's like, stuff on yeah. it. So. AKA, play around in the sink and get water everywhere. Yeah. Mom. Great job, baby. And then you go through. Yeah. <laughs> you did so good. Let me rewash them all. <laughs> Mommy, why are you rewashing those? No, no, I'm not. I'm just drying them. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, you did great. <sighs> so, so normally what I do with this is I go up a little bit further than, um, than what I like so that the dark is right here. And I'll go over this again. Normally with Dixie Bell um, dark colors, you only have to do like one coat. But yeah. I like a couple just because I don't know. I'm going to have it. Like Dixie Bell paint is so easy to use. And, you know, it's a little prep. But I'm still in such a habit from years of doing the same stuff that I still do it. So, you know, I still do double coats and sand. Yeah. Paint, and it's just... You know. I always do double coats, even if my first gets me good coverage. Um, you know, speaking of prep, this piece right here, so this is this is all walnut, but um, when I was cleaning it, it just kept wiping dirty, which tells me that it was probably going to be a bleeder. Yeah. So I am I am coated in um, Dixie Bell Boss is the white on this piece. Yeah, that stuff is so amazing. Yeah, if I was doing a lighter one, I actually there was a retailer because I'm a Dixie Bell retailer, by the way. And okay, so do you, have a, do you have a shop or do you have a booth? What? 
So I have a booth. So in downtown okay. Cheyenne, there's a store. It's called Eclectic Elephant. And oh. I have a booth down there. And I have a lot of paint down there. And so, um, so I carry my paint down there. And then I'll drop ship to people also. So if they want to order for me, I actually just had a client today and I think she's on. She, um, yeah, crystal. I'd rather leave it. It's like doing laundry. Okay. You do it. You see that meme? Someone's like, you can't trust someone that like fold, cleans it, folds it, and puts it all away in one day. You know, but so I have, um, at the store, I have all of my Dixie Bell paint there. And then, like I said, I'll drop ship also. I actually just drop ship to a client today. She lives in Montana. And so she'll be getting her paint hopefully in the beginning of next week. And she's going to try, if any of you guys saw the patina live that I did with Dixie Bell last week. Um, she's yes, that piece right was incredible. It came out so gorgeous. I know. I love, you know, I just, I did that technique by accident. Kind of like what you said earlier. It just finds you. You know, yeah, I, I did a couple pieces with the patina before, but then I was like, you know what? I think, I think these colors would look cool. So let's just try it. Cause my motto is why not try stuff? You know, you, you can always paint over it. I know it's kind of a pain to paint over if you don't like it, but no harm, no foul, you know, you never know. So no, the, the peony with the, with the patina was, was perfect. Yeah. But, but yeah, I totally agree. So how do you feel when a customer comes in there like, do whatever you want. You know, if they just give you a color, does that intimidate you? No. So I do a lot of custom work. That's actually, I don't get to do a lot of freelance stuff. I think that's why I enjoy doing the live so much because it forces me to be able to do like a freelance piece or yeah. I don't know what people call it. I call it freelance. Um, and so I do a lot of custom work, but I have such great customers. I have Yep. I've been really lucky. They just, they see my work and I do, maybe I'll do like one piece for them. And then when they come back, they're like, do whatever you want. And that makes me yeah. so, yeah. Um, that's you know, I found, yeah, I found that when customers come and they get too specific with me, some of those are my least favorite pieces I've ever done because if they don't give me the freedom to make decisions as I go. Yeah. Um, then, you know, sometimes pieces evolve as you're painting. Yeah, I, I agree. And I need that, that freedom to be able to make a judgment call. And if you if you chose me to do your piece, then I would hope it's because you like my style enough to, you know, trust my judgment. So I agree. I think I enjoy it more when I get to do what moves me. And I think they enjoy the piece more when yep. they get it from what I like. So, so down here, I did the rustic red mixed with the caviar and then yeah I, I see it i went into instead of just doing the so here's the rustic red with the caviar it's a little bit darker once it dries and i'll go over with it in the boat and then here's the rustic red so this is rustic red right here and so now what i'm gonna do I'm gonna grab another thing i'm gonna mix rustic red with the barn red so that way it's another transition so the color. Yeah. Goes. So that's the, that's going to be a lighter shade. Rustic yeah. and Barney. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It goes from dark to light. Um, you guys share this video. Tell me if you are, are you guys team mustard? Team mustard. I even wore my one yellow shirt that I had in my closet because it's all about subliminal messaging. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay, Brandy. I see what you're doing there. <laughs> And I, and I didn't wear my red, my red apron because I didn't want to confuse everybody. Yeah. You didn't want um, them to vote for team ketchup. Yeah. No, I didn't. Because I'm not going to lie, but like, I don't even really like mustard. I don't eat it on anything. It's disgusting. I'm team, <laughs> I'm team mayo. Where's team mayo? <laughs> team mayo. Oh, you know what? I was looking up because, you know, you and I have been battling for the past couple of days, just like being funny. And I... You're being You've been such a good sport. I've had so much fun with you. I know. I, I, it's funny. I am I like to mess around with my friends. So I mean, I am not a serious person. Anyone can tell you that. And I don't know if you guys have noticed that or not. So, you know, and that's hard because I never know, like, I, you know, my sense of humor is like that too. Like I, yeah. I can totally, you can mess around with me. I'm really hard to offend. But yeah. I never know if, if other people are like that or are they going to be like, wow, she's really mean. Yeah, no, 
I am like that. I, I always joke. I'm like, I don't know what that word offended means. What does that mean? I don't know. <laughs> so yeah. I'm, I'm so, I'm so grateful that you played around with me for this week. Oh yeah, always, always. <laughs> So now Wait, I have to show you. I have to show you something. I stopped my car last night when we were driving home, and I made my kids pick these mustard flowers. Oh, um, yeah. <laughs> I wrote, I wrote um, you, and I was like, "Thanks a lot, Brandy, you turd." And I was like, "Oh, hopefully she doesn't get upset." I called her a turd, but <laughs> no. But I don't know if you've ever had these in your house. These are the biggest mess ever. Can you guys see this? All they do is this is one day old flowers, and they're just dripping. Go like, don't ever, don't ever bring mustard flowers home. That's my word. Okay, another reason why you gotta go with team ketchup, then, guys. Look, you heard it. <laughs> yeah, I'm, not, I'm, sell, I'm selling it for you. Yeah, Brandy's like, I think I'm team ketchup also. <laughs> um. Oh, hey, hey, Google, play um, '80s music. Oh yeah. <laughs> You're so fancy. Ooh, 80s dance party is what it's putting on for me. You guys, I, I, would, I would show you guys my dance moves, but you would be jealous. So I don't want to make anyone. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure that's the reason. Mm. <laughs> I, Ooh, I'm not... I told you we I don't know what this thing is. Hey, Google, next song. I told you we watched The Voice, right? So last night we were watching it with Roxlyn, and she's like, Mommy, that girl sings way better than you. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> Wow, thanks. Yeah. Whatever. She doesn't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I she, seems, she, she seems super sassy. Is she your sassy one? Oh, she is so sassy. And I'm not girly at all, and she is so girly and just... But she tells me all the time, I want to be a furniture painter when I grow up. And I'm like, girl, you aim high. Aim high and do whatever you want. So Yeah, goals. Yeah. Um, you know, I have a hard time because my kids, you know, I've stayed home with them for a while. And yeah. I don't think, they don't think of this as my job, you know. They're like, oh, mom's just out in the garage painting again. I'm like, no, I'm working. <laughs> I know. I feel the same way. Like if Roxanne has school off or something, I'm like, baby, I know you want to come, like you want to go to the park and do all this stuff, but I still have to work. Like this is my job. And she's like, whatever. Like, yeah, <laughs> I know. They just think I'm, I'm home all the time and I'm just, you know, I'm just out here painting. Right now. So they're, they're finally starting to kind of get it that I, you know, I, I have a job. It's legit. Yeah. yeah. You doing your furniture again, Mom? Are you doing your furniture again? I'm like, yes. So I'm going, I'm doing my second coat. I'm going to, I did all the other coats, and then I'm going to go back down. And do my second coat. It's, it's slightly, it's already drying, but I just go over it again. And because it's going to be blended and stuff, so it's going to get wet and all that good stuff. So you're already on your second coat? Yeah. I don't, I'm fast. Oh, yeah. Well, you're on the side, too. I'm just doing the front right now. Well, it's because I'm only doing the side because I'm hoping this will, the front will dry a little bit so I can come back to it. You're hoping that you'll win people over with all that yellow. I know. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> if I can't win in technique, then I'll just win in volume. Like, yeah, yeah it'll just be screaming at you in yeah. your dreams. <laughs> Team catch up. You guys share this post with hashtag Team Ketchup over here or Team Mustard. Yeah. Share it with your hashtag, and yeah. we're giving away. A What's that? I said, make sure you guys are sharing this because you're learning. I mean, not we're having good fun here, but also um, we're teaching you guys a couple techniques. So you know, wanted to try different kinds of blending. Obviously, we all know you know Brandy's the blending queen, but um, I'm also doing a blending technique so that you guys can look at that. And some of my blending I do on a first coat while it's wet, and some like this one I'm doing, I will come back and start blending my second coat. Right. So I'm just trying to get a clean base on right now. Yeah. Where's your helper at? I don't see him. Is he still in there with you? Can you see him? <laughs> no. Is he hiding? You're <laughs> blurry. He, he's hiding, but he's he's out here dancing. Aww. 
That's my seven-year-old. That's Ashton. Oh. Um, do your kids like? Do your kids like being on camera? Uh, yeah. You know what? I should probably. <laughs> my daughter will be like super excited. I bet I should go get her. I'll go get her really quick. She said she. Had yeah, bring her out here. Mine don't like being on camera at all. I have to push them to come out here with me, and they won't. They won't come on camera. Oh, there. Except for now. He's just going to come on and make faces, though. I don't have Roxlyn because she's sleeping. I guess she said she doesn't feel good, but I have my other baby. Oh, oh it's a puggle. Yes, I have, have puggles. I have a uh, oh. he'll be 13 in June, and his name's Zeppelin, and then this is Cannon. Yeah, he's getting so big, though. Oh, crazy. He's crazy. So Puggles are a mix of a pug and a beagle. Yeah, so it's a pug I, dad. I have pugs. Yeah. I have pugs. Yeah. And a, my, mom a had a, my mom had a beagle, and we mated uh -huh. them. And we got yep. Puggle. Yep. It's a, pug, it's a pug dad and a beagle mom. So, so good. Yeah, Such a good breed, like, blend of... Two different, like, really good dogs. The, um, the, the pug mom, their bodies are too small for, um, having a litter on it. Um, yeah. Yeah, my pug, she's, she's, like, 11 now, and she's blind and deaf, so she's really, like, the saddest dog ever. Aww. She doesn't, she doesn't even get out of her bed anymore. So my old man dog gets out a lot, and he just wanders the neighborhood, and he, as soon as his head gets down, I'm like, Zeppelin, come back here, Zeppelin, and he just turns around and looks at me like, you've been telling me what to do for 13 years, no more, lady, no more. Yeah. So he just does what he wants to do, and he's super good, though. He was seven when my daughter was born, and he is just, like, the best. Even my son, he'll climb on him, not that I condone it, but, um, and he's just so patient, and just, he's like the greatest yeah. dog. That was my pug, too. She was the baby before I had babies, and she's grown up with all of my kids. Yeah. And she's she's always been super gentle with them. Yeah. It's kind of amazing, isn't it, how, like, a dog just knows? Um, we just, this week, we got the, my 7- um, and 10-year-old, we got them guinea pigs, because I'm trying to teach them, like, how to care for an animal. <sighs> and they're cute, but... We have only had them for a week and it's driving me. Yeah. <laughs> That's what you're going to tell your so kids, anyways. So, I, I think I might be allergic to guinea pigs, I think. Um, but I had a pet rabbit growing up, and this awesome. rabbit, Cannon, come here. So, this rabbit that I had was this is kind of a disturbing, kind of gross story. So, um, not disturbing, but so he was laying on my stomach and he like climbs up to my face and he stuck his head in my face and like in my mouth and started licking my tongue. And I was like, oh. what's happening to you? Oh. Yeah. Um, apparently that's, he was out that's like water, those videos of people, so. people that will like mouth kiss their dog. I can't, I can't, I can't. <laughs> yeah. You're like, no, no, no. I saw my dog likes yeah. to eat. When it's winter outside, he goes and eats, like, frozen turds. And I'm like, Th these are, like, crunchy delights for him. They're just, yeah. Yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah, we will not be kissing yeah. in the mouth after you eat that. No. Yeah, I, I will not forget it. And I think I was probably in, like, first grade. So, you know, I'm only 21. So it wasn't that long ago. <laughs> You're only 21? Did you I just say you're only 21? Yeah, I did. I say that all the time. I am not <laughs> 21. <laughs> okay, thank you. Because I was going to be like, I can't even be on here. I'm old enough to be your mom. No, uh-uh, no, I'm not. But every year I say I'm 21 again. Time, like, I, they're like, Christina, you're 21 for like the 13th year or whatever. Yeah. So. Congratulations. No, I, I, I'm 32. I'll be 33. My birthday is May 28th. So, Ooh, it's coming up. you're still a baby. Yeah. 
I know. So I'm kind of on, it's I'm, good I'm trying to put on my second coat and it's pulling my first coat off. It's not dry enough. You need to get a hair dryer. Go get a hair dryer and like Um, that's a good idea, but it's super it's super loud. That's okay. We can like listen to it for a second. I think mine my paint dries really fast because it's so or so dry here that so yeah. it's kind of nice, but at the same time Sometimes I'm like, oh, it's already dry, and, you know. Yeah. So. I should have probably just been blending with my first coat, and I didn't, and now now I can't do a second coat yet. Kind of bummed. I have big plans, guys, big plans. <laughs> um, let's see. Could I get a? What is it? Okay, I'm going to look at some of the comments so that we can, because I'm going to let it dry a little bit, and I'm going to look. Brandy, I'm blurry. I'm blurry. Oh, I'm clear on mine. Yeah, is that better? Is that better, guys? I'm sorry. I didn't oh, know it was blurry. Katarina. 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 Sorry, I said it wrong. Katarina, she said she believed me when I said I was 20. You know what? You are my favorite person. If you believe me, then I love you because um, <laughs> my dog is walking over my laptop. You do look like you could pass for 21. I'll get you one. Oh, you guys are, you are so sweet. Liars! <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I don't know. Um, oh, I'm dripping. Oh, she said we're both blurry. Hmm. No. I'm sorry, guys. Yeah. It, Christana, you look clear to me, and I look clear to me. Or is it the yeah. wine? Yeah, Diana. Diana, put the glass down, girl. Yeah. Oh, Sharon asked how many yellow pieces either one of us have sold. Um, I I don't know if I've ever done a freelance yellow piece, but I have done some custom yellow pieces. That that probably doesn't count, does it? I don't know. Blurry. Yeah. Everyone's saying blurry, but must be the wine. I swear. No, this is like, I've had like two sips, I promise. And pixelated, yeah. especially in here. Brandy's a cheap drunk, guys. She's a cheap drunk. <laughs> hey, hey, Google, turn off. Um, Let's see if turning my radio off. Maybe helps. Sure. Are we still blurry, guys? Yeah, they're saying blurry. I guess I Mine must be. Um, I've done one yellow piece, and I loved it. It was a um. It was a Duncan Fife buffet, and it was so pretty. And I held on to it yeah. for like six months. I was kind of bummed. Yeah, isn't that funny? How like some of the pieces you're like, I wouldn't be sad if you didn't sell. I'll just find a place in the house for you. And do you have that one yeah. piece you wish you wouldn't have sold? <sighs> yeah. So it's it's actually a blue piece that I did a couple months ago. And it was this technique on it, and I did gold leafing going up of it, up it, and I was, I really wanted to keep that piece, but my husband is like, listen, <laughs> we've got too much stuff, yeah. and, you know, being military, we don't know where our next base will be, and he's like, we are totally over our weight limit, and so. Yeah, well, oh, interesting. Yeah. Um, do you have painted pieces in your house? I do. My house is all it's super eclectic. There's tons of different yeah. in my house. I've got like boho with farmhouse with my house is it cannot make up its mind, which is like me. Yeah. So it's funny because you see you see a lot of people like, you know, your style when someone sees one of your pieces, they're like, you know, I know Brandy did that piece like you can just you can spot your work from a mile away. And there's a lot of people who are like that. Yeah. And me, I mine is just so eclectic. I do so many different styles because I do so many customs. So yeah. I think, you know, I've really tried to find that thing that I really love. And I think doing like the ombre and colors, it's just, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I have friends that are like, yeah, we can spot your work from a mile away, but I'm like, you're just being nice. So I don't know. But... Um, yeah, I was looking through your portfolio before we got on here and, and yes, yeah. that's what I saw too. You were all over the map. There was some really 
classical like French country pieces that were soft and then there was like the totally boho bright colors um yeah Ashley do we know each other um we've we've chatted for I don't know a couple months maybe was the first time yeah like um I just think I I appreciate when painters reach out to each other and like communicate I just love the community I've met so many cool people yeah yeah, and I'm all about, I actually was talking to um, Mert is, she's on here actually, and she was, she's out of um, Montana. She's the client that I have that we did the drop ship with. And I was uh -huh. telling her how you could tell, like, I could have you in a room, me in a room, and even like five other people in a room. And you could tell all of us the same thing, of how to do the technique, and you will get five different pieces, you know, like yeah. totally different pieces. So, you know, I've had people be like, you want to do lives or tutorials? Aren't you afraid of giving away your secrets? <laughs> like, well, first of all, these aren't secrets. Anyone can find them. And yeah. so you see them like back right now. And second, they're not secrets, but, you know, like they're going to find them somewhere. Why not be supportive and lift each other up? And so I'm all about helping people. And I like to see people succeed. I don't want to see people knock down and especially other artists. So. Yeah, I, I totally believe that um, I don't think sex, success is a finite thing. I think there is there is enough success to go around for everybody. And yeah. if somebody can come and take and do something, like, better than me, then good. Like, I hope I inspired that. Right. Yeah, because sometimes people don't know what they have locked inside of them. And maybe trying that technique you know trying oh well let me watch brandy or let me watch Garcana and see how they do it and then you know they hone in that skill and then they like kill it way more than we would yeah. so no i feel know, really I, lucky to be able to do this and um and yeah, I, i've never i've never paid for a tutorial so yeah so I think I'm going to start There's... blending these. They're pretty. These colors are actually blended. Like, normally when I do an ombre blended piece, even when I get the colors close, it's like, boom, you can see it. Boom, you can see it. But, man, these colors are so close to each other just yeah. from, like, blending or mixing that it's it's kind of cool. I'm like, I'm done, guys. This is good. You like yeah. to up? <laughs> it's for sale. Yeah. <laughs> the dog ran off with the paper. I'm trying to, I'm trying to blend in some, some chocolate, but my, it's lifting my paint still. I'm just too wet. I'm telling you, you should just go get a hair dryer. We'll be patient with you. You know, get a okay, hair dryer. Yeah, I'm going to get super loud for a minute then. Hang on, because I have one right here. Yeah, do it. We'll be patient. Okay. Hang on. Cannon has a brush. I know. He steals my brushes all the time. Your dog? He's, He's a naughty little puppy. <laughs> what a brat. Yeah, he's naughty. You steal my brush. Okay, this, Where did you go? this is my this is my old hair dryer because I have curly hair, so you know you know the curly haired life. It's gonna be loud. Yeah. I'm sorry. Sorry guys.
Okay, thank you for that. Is it good now? Okay, I'm gonna try. Let's see, I hope. Okay, so far so good. Okay. Ooh. Okay. When I stopped, I went and got my LaCroix. I've been seeing these memes where they're like, LaCroix tastes like sadness or whatever. But what's, in Europe, what's LaCroix? Is it beer? Oh, okay. So it's um it's sparkling water, but it's flavored. Oh. It doesn't have it doesn't have like any sweetener in it. I really oh, uh -huh. like it, but we when we lived in Europe, I mean, sparkling water is a huge thing. In Italy, they call it aqua frizzante. And so oh. I just, my kids love it. I love it. My husband will drink LaCroix. A lot of people don't like it, but I like it a lot. So, yeah, I can't do the, the unsweetened ones are just, eh. Yeah, that's what this is. So passion fruit and grapefruit are my favorite. Yeah. But you asked me, so it's funny. Just a little tidbit, and not to get like super into it, but ask me where my wine was. So in December, yeah. I donated a kidney to one of my girlfriends. That's and, that's right. Oh yeah. my gosh, I'm so sorry I even asked you. What a stupid question. No, 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 no. You can still like if you donate a kidney, you can still like drink a drink every once in a while. I wasn't a huge drinker, anyways, but yeah, um, I did drink, like a glass and a half of wine maybe like a month ago and my I got like a terrible headache and my body was like uh-uh I don't think so 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 yeah really? I'm like afraid so um what I else have, what else is different for you what else have you noticed since you did that nothing nothing at all like everything's really? the same I was thinking, I was running at four miles afterwards I have a half marathon actually this weekend um yeah, I mean it. It was it was really awesome, but yeah, no, nothing has changed at all. It's been an awesome, awesome experience. Just to see. How about for your? How's your girlfriend doing? Oh man, she is doing amazing. She is really. Just, I didn't get to see her for like a month because she couldn't go out. And when I walked in her house for the first time, I was just blown away. Her and I, we can't really talk. I can't she can't talk about it without getting emotional, obviously. And yeah, you know, it's just, it's just a cool experience. I was just so grateful that I got to do that for her because she's got a six year old and a 16 year old and she was actually in stage five kidney failure. Kidney failure. How, did, so, how did the conversation come up? Like, how did you guys agree to do that? So, um, all right, I'm going to blend this. I'm going to just spray this, but so she, I've known her, my husband and her husband have known each other for 15 years. And I met her a couple of years ago when I moved here to Cheyenne and she had told me she was on the list the, or, to get an organ on the list. You were on there for years and years. And so when I first met her, I was like, Oh, you can have my kidney. And she's like, yeah, okay, whatever. You're crazy. Yeah. <laughs> what do you know? And so you know, fast forward a couple of years and it just, but did you guys have, her husband, did you guys have to be a match first though? You or, or anybody yeah. can. Yeah. So I'm O negative. My blood type is O negative. And so I'm a universal donor. I can donate blood to anybody, whatever, whatever it is. And so I just felt like something inside of me was like, you, you should do this. Like this is yeah. you're meant to do this for her. And she never asked me. Things got really bad for her, and her doctor was like, you're going to have to find a living donor. Like, you have till December, you have to find a living donor. And this was in August of last year. So I'm doing the darker color right here, and I'm going up into the lighter color a little bit, and then I'm going to use the lighter color and go over this to blend it. Um, yeah, so... I don't know if you can tell the difference. I've got some subtle shades in here. I just put some chocolate around the edges and I put some buttercream in the center. It's really kind of subtle, but then I'm going to, I'm going to distress the heck out of this one too. Cause it like, yeah. it just looks like a little old country piece. I don't know. 
Yeah. You see these em the Empire legs? They're screaming country to me. I love Empire cut stuff. So yeah, so this is going to be mixed. So now I'm going to take the darker color right here, and I'm going to just go from the bottom and just go like this to the top, up to this, and hope, you know, when it's wet, sometimes you can't, I don't know if you feel like this, when it's wet, sometimes you can't always tell if it's blended the way you want it, so you have to like, yeah. wait till it dries, sometimes go back, and... So oh, totally, oh, like totally. This. Yeah. So I feel like this part's blended the way I want it to. So what I did is I went over it with the light, the middle color. The middle color is just rustic red. So I went down into the dark, and then I took the dark color and went down and went up on it. Oh, that just sounded like I totally didn't give you any any good <laughs> advice on that. Yeah. I went down and then I went up. I went and down. Up and down. I went up. <laughs> so I took my brush and I went up and I went yeah. down. <laughs> and I painted. <laughs> I hope you guys were hoping to learn technique from this video. Just be entertained. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, let me try it again, guys. Okay. I'll tell you about my kidney in a second after I teach you. That's what we're here for. Okay. Right. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So school us, school us, and then we'll talk about, about your organs. Team, team Mustard is trying to sabotage me, guys. Do you see that? <laughs> I mean, sometimes it just happens. So yeah. what can you say? <laughs> team, mustard. team Mustard. Okay, so right here is where I had the rustic red mixed with caviar. That's what this bottom part is, rustic red and caviar. And then the center one is rustic red, okay? And then I mixed rustic red with barn red for this top one right here if this was a bigger piece i would probably just have put barn red by itself up here but since it's smaller that we only have room for so many so to blend this part right here what i did is i sprayed it just a regular spray bottle and then i wet it with the darker color so this is the rustic red mixed with caviar and i went over it like this and went up a little bit into Rustic red caviar, rustic red. So I'm just kind of, this is where my transition point is. Yeah. So over it right here. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Yeah. Somebody is. <laughs> I don't like it. And now here's rustic red. So I'm going to go rustic red. And I just put a little bit on my brush. Because these yeah. colors are really close. So I'm going rustic red. I start up here, kind of blend it down. And see, look, I got a little bristle. Nobody wants that. Get out of there. Okay. And then I'm going to go back. I'm not going to dip my brush in the darker color. I'm just going to go and just kind of go from the bottom, go up. And like I was saying with Brandy, that sometimes when you're blending, you have to wait for it to dry and go back because maybe it's not as smooth as you'd like it or the transition is a little bit too hard or too sharp. And so, you know, blending is kind of one of those things that you got to, you gotta mess with it. I don't know. I mean, I do because I'm not the blending queen. Brandy, she just makes it look easy. So. No, I'm having a heck of a time right now because my paint's still not dry enough. I'm still pulling paint back, so I'm like, yeah, I don't even know. I, I'm gonna ruin. I'm gonna end up ruining it more than anything. Yeah, I can see though the center is a lot lighter. That's the buttercream. So I have. Um, I have a base of the mustard yellow, and then I took a little bit of chocolate, and I just hit just the edges of my door in the chocolate and blended that into the kernel mustard. And then the centers just have a hint of buttercream in them. So, I, like I mean, looking good. it's going to come together, but it's it's struggling right now. Yeah. I, um, I had someone ask me, because I do a lot of leafing on my stuff. I just really yes. like it. <laughs> I just really like it a lot. I'm like, I'm extra. Okay. I'm like so extra. That's why I like to do crazy things. Um, now, but yeah, now how, put, how does leaving what, sell for you? Does it go pretty easily? I think so. I think once you find who you are, you have people who follow you because they love what you do. The green piece that I did back to my kidney, it's called the kidney piece. So in oh, April, yeah. 
It's uh, kidney is our uh, April is organ don donor month, and green is kidney disease, the color. So I did a green okay. piece and did copper leafing and made the copper pools with copper piping that I went and got mm -hmm. from like the plumbing section. And yes. that piece I it sold I think that night. So that was really awesome. Yeah, I have a gold leaf piece and it's totally sitting. I feel sometimes like my market isn't ready for certain things that I want it to be ready for. I, yeah, I think, you know, there's a place. So there's a place for, and I think people are scared of color because they think, yeah. I have so many clients where I'll go to their house and they're like, well, so-and-so said they don't like this piece here. And I'm like, that person doesn't even live with you. <laughs> like, it's your house. Yeah. Do you want like to do that? Yeah. So... Yeah. I don't know. I'm not one that really care what people think. So, <clears throat> so I'm going to go up here. I mean, this piece right here. So this is, this is the rustic red and then that's the rustic red mixed with the barn red. And like, I feel like I don't even have to touch it. Transition is so, it's so nice. The transition. But I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to come over to this side and hope it's dry. Spray it. Uh, this side's kind of dry. I'll try to work over here. Ooh. And so I'm going to go, this is the darker color right here. So I'm going to go this. So I don't think I have any articles of clothing that don't have paint on them. Like even my, no, I don't I'll find my. I don't even try anymore. It's kind of like a badge of honor. Yeah. I go, my but now I go to like my kid's school and they all know what I do. So it's not even a question anymore. I know. I, my daughter's school is right across the street. And so I walk over there and I always joke. I look like a swamp demon, but uh, <laughs> so I go there like this and I don't, a lot of them know what I do. They probably are like, what is wrong with this lady? Why is she owed? Man, this is the longest <laughs> renovation project ever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, like hot mess. Take a shower already. Yeah. God, she's wearing the same clothes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. So true. And then they find out what I do. So it's funny because I'll have people and they'll come up to me and be like, so you had a big project? I'm like, um, no, <laughs> yeah, that's never, what I do for my job. Never ending one. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. then once, once they find out what you do, then they're your best friend. Then, then all of a sudden they're like, Hey, I have this uh, furniture piece that, uh, yeah. can you paint this for me? I'm like, Oh, yeah. really? <laughs> you just called me a swamp demon and told me to take a shower yesterday. Come on. <laughs> this is so oh my gosh right here but I think I think this is gonna look good this is just blended really nice I think it's I hard to good. tell I think, I think it's not gonna come together until like you know the very end but I mean this is this is the idea I'm going with I just am gonna have to come back and do this I like it though I like what you're doing there. that looks good it will, it will work someday. Yeah. It's going to be really kind of imperfect. And, yeah. um, but that's that rustic vibe. That's that. It's had a life before. Yeah. Oh yeah. I, you know what? I appreciate pieces. I, some pieces I'll sand and like really try to restore. Cause I restore a lot of pieces also. And, and uh -huh. I don't paint everything. I'll restore stuff. And I build furniture also. And so, oh. I'm just like, yeah, that's, I have, my garage is, my husband is never putting another car in here ever again. <laughs> it's just do, you have a, do you have a two car? Yes, I have a two car, and this is like the only little area that is not filled with, it's just filled. I'm pretty sure yeah. my neighbors hate me, because there's like furniture in here, or if it's really nice, I have furniture out in the, the um, driveway, and yeah. What? Like, do I look like that's a and I have a trash house because you know there's furniture. That's I've got paint all over. 
whatever. That's totally us too. To be able to go live tonight, I had to put a bunch of stuff out in my in my driveway. It looks like we're having an unmanned yard sale right now. True. Okay, this is a true story. And I'm gonna turn this, and I'm actually gonna do the thing here, but I'm gonna tell you the story. Last summer, I had so many people stop by my house because they thought I was having a garage sale. I was like, I'm not, <laughs> not for sale. I'm sorry. So yeah, people always think of a garage sale. Yeah, I mean, I tell my customers, I'm like, I really like need you to pick up your stuff because I can't store it. And when they come here, they finally get it. You know, I'm not just I'm not just being a jerk. I really have no space. Yeah. Like, I can't even walk through my garage. Ugh. So this is kind of where I am. I hit the edges with the chocolate, which you could do this with the dark wax, too. I'm doing it with paint, darkening the edges. And then you can see um, I hit the center with the lighter color. And then when I distress this, ooh, it's going to look so good. I can't wait. And it's spring, guys. It's spring. So you need that piece for your house because, you know, you just need Yeah, it. mostly because I, I, I can't fit it in my garage. So please <laughs> tell me you need this for yourself. Yeah. Um, we're building a house right now, and our workshop just went up. Um, it, it's actually done now. Um, wow. It's oh. a metal building. I saw your picture. And and I, I am so jealous. So jealous right they, now. They finished it today. It's like... We went out there last night, and I was just sitting in it. Like, it's so pretty. It's just pretty. Can a workshop be pretty? It's pretty. Did you sleep in it last night, Brandy? Don't lie. You slept in it. <laughs> Me and my husband had this conversation the other day. I'm not even joking you, but we were like, well, it it's plumbed for plumbing. Like, we could put a sink and a toilet in there. And what's, what's really the difference? Our RV is out there. What's the difference between that and camping, honestly? Hey. Right, you're like camping with paint, you know? So, so I, you know, I don't see a problem with going there and like camping in the workshop until the house is done. Yeah, I don't see a problem. The, we the weather here is nice enough. We're in California. Yeah, you're like, boys, listen, boys, we're going camping tonight in the workshop. Yeah. They're like, mom, they're catching on to they're, you. They're so game. They, uh, my, I mean, they don't understand what we're doing. We're building a house right now, and they have—they don't even get the concept of why we're so excited. And yeah, um, but we spend a lot of time out there because I just want them to be used to it and consider that as home before right. we move. Are they going to have to move schools? Yeah. Um, so where we live right now, the schools aren't great, and the only reason we're okay is because my kids are in a charter school. Yeah. But. Um, I mean, it's a charter school with a waiting list of like 800 kids. Oh yeah. And we just got really, we got really lucky and got in on the lottery. Yeah. Um, you paid a few so after, people, didn't you? That's how they got in. Don't lie. <laughs> wait, what's that? I said you painted a piece for somebody and you got. That's how they got in. You're like, I will paint your entire house. Just let my kids in the school. Hey, whatever works, right? Yeah. If you're not trying, you know what I mean. <laughs> Um, no, I have done a piece for our principal and my boys' teachers. I just really, I, I really love them. Genuinely yeah. love them. Um, but if, if they weren't in that charter school, the schools in our area are not that great. Right. So actually where we're going is a better school district. Okay. Well, that's good. I just totally like, I'm going to stay in the top of this. I'll just turn that down. That's um, I'm saying. I'm staining my top too. It's this beautiful walnut top. You guys see that grain? So I already have it stripped down. Yes, Tammy, I do have a hammock out there. I totally laid in my hammock the other day and did nothing. And then my four-year-old came and laid with me and he he rubs my skin for comfort and oh. I get home and I, I'm covered in poison oak right here where he's been oh. rubbing. I'm like, oh, that's so sweet. No, oak. it was evil. <laughs> he, he um he just came and laid with me. We were just laying on the hammock, and then like two days later, I'm covered in poison oak from head to toe from him. In my Lacroix, I just love this stuff. So I, oh, I like that. My story about my organ donation. So I actually no. I want to hear. I want to hear it. Oh, okay. 
like, yeah, finish. I wanted to say she wants to hear me talk. <laughs> because, Kristana, I just read your article, your write-up that you did. What was that for, a local magazine or newspaper? Okay, so um, the Boston Voyager, which is actually a magazine out of Boston, Massachusetts, they okay. found me on Instagram. So for you guys that are, like, building your business or painters or whatever, social media is so important. And I yeah. think the first like year of my business, I was like, eh, I'll share stuff, whatever. But it's just so important, especially if you want to get yourself out there. And so yeah. on my Instagram, I had, there was this buffet that I did that was blue and had like some copper leaf. I mean, it was crazy. It was a boho, definitely boho to the max. But uh -huh. I, seen her, I put a picture of the, I think it was peony and limeade was like the two Dixie Belle colors. Yeah, I think it was limeade, daisy and peony and um it was just crazy like it was just the undercoat and they were like can we share your your post on our our on our website and i was like sure i mean it's not even fun but and so then they they have this section where they have trailblazers and it's all women it's women business owners or whatever artists things like that and they feature them from different neighborhoods of boston and I was like, well, I don't live in Boston. I mean, I've got family in New England. They were like, that's totally fine. We don't even care. And so, yeah, no. they me. It was really awesome because I would love to, I love doing this business, but I just love people and talking to people. And I would love to be like a, not a spokesperson, but like an advocate for kidney donation and things because people don't understand. Yeah. Um, you know, they, it's scary. It's scary. You know? Yeah. In, but you don't know how many people are going through it. I actually had a an ultrasound the other day for something else. And um, the lady, the receptionist was like, you know, my husband needs a kidney and my son's going to go through it. And so, like, you don't know what battles people are fighting. Yeah, yeah. So it's awesome. I think just that you have that experience to share is, I mean, it's, it's heroic. I don't think a lot of people even consider that, but yeah. I'm, I'm inspired by it. I do want to tell you that as a living donor, now that I'm a living donor, if I ever needed a kidney, I go right to the top of the list, which is really Oh, cool. so, oh, yeah. really? Yeah. So I never knew that before. And they're like, it's kind of like an insurance policy. And I'm like, I didn't know that. <laughs> so, it, so I guess cool, you know, so. Yeah, that is really cool. I didn't know that either. Yeah. You learn something. It has, okay. it has so, perks. Yeah. So I went to the side. I think you can see the difference between these colors a little bit better on the side than you could in the front. So, but man, this middle color and the top color, they like are just perfectly blended. <laughs> They're perfectly blended. Not normally like that. Well, I guess I could see it. It's still a little bit wet, but. No, I can see it on camera. I can tell. I can tell. Can you? Yeah. So I'm. Yeah, you're good. Come here. You want to away? Yeah. My girlfriend, Janelle, just, she's my girl. She's my person. She takes all my photos. Her and her husband are my photographers, and they're, like, amazing. So people see pic pictures of my stuff, and they're like, oh, that's a beautiful picture. I'm like, I did not. They did that for me. Oh, she does your she does your furniture pics, too. Yes. Oh, that's, yes. that's a good idea. Yeah, so she's building my website, and she does my furniture pics. Um, I used to do my furniture. I mean, I still will, but I mean, when you've got like a really good friend who's a professional photographer and you can help support their business, like, yeah, you no. Know? So they take way better pictures than I ever could. So I'm going to do my second coat on here. I think the way that you're blending is the way I'm blending. If it picks up a little bit, it's not as big of a deal. But I think yours is more of like a precise. But mine's just a mess. I'm just a hot mess, girl. Yeah. <laughs> Go with it, girl. It's it's clearly working for you. Yeah. Uh, right here already. I I agree. Mine looks like a hot mess to me right now too. But I'm gonna fix it, and you can see the direction at least. Like you can yeah. see it's cute. It's just not there yet. It's getting there. <laughs> it's like a newborn baby. You know, like, newborn babies are not always cute, but they'll be in a couple yeah. <laughs> yeah, give it a good six months, and this piece will come into itself. <laughs> It'll grow into its head, I swear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
my husband has a ginormous head and so do my kids. So I can't, I can't even laugh about that. It's not funny. My sister, her, my sister had babies with huge heads. She has a huge head. I, I feel so bad. <laughs> she had three, my sister has three kids. So, and they all have huge, huge foreheads. Um, They're my sister just, got, <laughs> my sister just got married in November and um, they haven't had kids yet, but her, she's super hairy and so is her husband so we so we joke that she's gonna have these little wookie babies <laughs> i just snorted <laughs> You're I'm, gonna watch I'm gonna watch the sign. <laughs> she doesn't watch me oh probably because you call her hairy <laughs> yeah, no she calls herself hairy <laughs> <laughs> Um, <laughs> I was gonna say, oh, you guys, we are giving away paint tonight. If you guys like and share this post, tell us if you're hashtag Team Mustard or Team Ketchup. I like and that you the Team Mustard on there. <laughs> messaging. I'm gonna say it like this: Team Mustard or Team Ketchup. Yeah. <laughs> just as a just as a side note, it's a, it's an option. I mean, if you like that kind of thing. Yeah. So I think I'm going to try to blend this. I'm going to explain it for a second so that the people that have given us, so graciously given us their time and listened to us chat, 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 will at least learn something. So, <laughs> so here's the darker one. Again, this is rustic red mixed with caviar. And then this is rustic red. And then this is rustic red mixed with barn red. So I'm going to take the squirt bottle and I'm going to spray it a little bit right here at this transition point. And I'm going to... Yeah, water, water is essential when you're blending. For sure. So I'm going to take the rustic red and I'm going to go down. So I'm going to go down into the dark. And then so I'm down here. And then I'm going to take the dark one, and like I said, I just dip it a little bit and push it off. And I'm going to go from the dark up here. And I just lightly do it. I don't, like, jam on the thing. So, and then I go up, and I just do long brush strokes. And I go down. You like that? I'm giving you a direction. It's like I'm giving you directions. Then I go down, and I go up, and I go around. And I'm going to take the rustic red again and just go from even higher and go up and just come down. I'm trying to pay attention to what you're teaching while I'm painting. I know. Maybe I can learn too. Zixi Bell's going to be like, we are never letting them go live together again. <laughs> I'm, I'm supposed to do this again next week and I'm like, oh, what a hot mess. <laughs> and so now I'm taking the dark color and I'm just going from the bottom all the way up. Yeah, actually, I'm going live by myself on the 20th on Dixie Bell's page. And I'm gonna, Are you? Yeah, and I'm going to show this technique again. So okay, probably be a little bit better than what. You know. Yeah, pro probably watch that one, you guys. If you want to actually learn it, watch that one instead. Yeah. So you can, <laughs> it's pretty well, you got the ombre and then, but, you know, like we said before, once it dries, that's when you really get to see if you blended well enough and if you didn't then you just get your spray bottle out and you do the same technique over and over and over again yeah and hopefully only like once or twice until you really get <laughs> blending yeah but i mean sometimes it takes more than that sometimes you're you go over the same piece like three times until yeah you know i did like a blue ombre one and i even took pictures of it and then i looked at my photos and i was like there's like two spots on this that are driving me nuts. And I went back and I redid it even after I took my pictures. Yeah. Because sometimes you don't, you know, different lights or different, whatever you see stuff and you're just like, yeah, that's not, that's not jiving with me. So not yeah, that it, it drives me nuts. You know, yeah. I, I feel like I wouldn't give a customer anything I wouldn't put in my own house. And so if it's got stuff, I'm going to fix it. Yeah, I'm the same way. I've had times where I've done something for somebody and I'm like, I hate it. I'm not giving it to you. And they're like, I'm sure it's fine. No, it's not. You're not yeah, it. no, it sucks. Yeah, I'm going to burn it. Yeah. 
Um, I am okay. using a, this, this is a zebra. This is their two inch chiseled wedge brush and I love them, love them. These are my favorite of their brushes. I just started using them. This is their a little two inch, same brand, zebra brushes, but they're super soft synthetic bristles. Um, you guys saw what I was just doing is I will put the color on and I brush it horizontally and vertically. And that's get, mixing the colors onto each other. And then I'll come back and kind of perfect it. So, I mean, you can go back and watch this. I was going horizontally and vertically with my yeah. brush strokes. That's nope, the do. other. This one. I think, I think that's really important. And I think doing going horizontal and vertically is really important for you to get a more smoother finish. I don't know if that's yeah. how you feel, but. Um, yeah, sometimes I'll use a cross hatching to get better coverage too, if I want to. Um, Yeah, so it's not perfect. I'm going to have to come back and do it because my paint lifted right here. So I need to let this dry. This was that spot I did early on. Can you see that? I don't that? know. I, didn't, I don't know. I'm like looking like. I Sometimes looking in, in the screen helps you see in like a mirror what it looks like. Yeah. I think once it dries, it'll look a lot better. But it looks like, I don't know if this is blended enough. I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. Um, yeah, when, when it dries, come back to it. Yeah. So, so anyway, I'm going to finish this up. It'll take me a couple days. Yeah. How long do you think until you're done with that one? Uh, it'll probably take me a couple days. Yeah. Because I think I might um, I have to leave on it. I don't know. I need to stain my top. Yeah, me too. And then second coat, top coat, and distress. Yep. Um, you guys share this post. Hopefully you guys learned something that was helpful. Hashtag Team Mustard. Hashtag. Um, share it with Team Mustard or Team Ketchup. Let us know which one. What's your favorite? If you had a burger right now, what would you put on it? Mayo. Thank you, Kim. Sauce. <laughs> yeah. None of the above. That's not a choice. Yeah. <laughs> um, Christana, thank you so much for painting with me, and I had a lot of fun. I'm going to watch this back just so I can learn what you're doing, because I missed half of it. I know, but you know what? If okay. you guys didn't learn anything, I'm sorry, but um, I will be live on Dixie Bell's page on the 20th, and I will reteach this technique, so hopefully. Um, you know, I think, I think aside from painting techniques, I think you said a lot of interesting things about strategy about picking colors about um you know developing your style there's information in there about that too aside from just yeah. paint technique so hopefully yeah. that was helpful too yeah yeah i love so, helping so i'm all about lifting other people up yeah yeah totally and dixie bell's really good about encouraging that too and they've got a, the the brand ambassadors and the retailers are all about sharing and I get questions all the time. Um, so anyway, we'll let you guys get back to your evening. We're on for an hour and a half, Kristana. <laughs> sorry guys. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Go make some dinner, please. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go back and read the questions on the thread and we'll answer any questions you guys had that we missed. Yeah. And um, yeah, we'll get these posted in the next few days. So come follow my page at brushed by Brandy and follow Kristana at, Bella Renovare. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go team for the team, team, card. <laughs> team condiments. <laughs> you, you're cheating, Anne. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys. I'll let you go. And um, thank you. We'll be back on again at the same time next Thursday. So hopefully you'll be back on the Dixie Bell page. Yeah. Thank you. Bye, guys.